The other day I was listening to Sean Hannity on the radio because it's important to seek out contrary opinions to one's own. Uh, I also listen to and read reasonable conservatives, not just Hannity and those crazy barking dogs on the talk radio circuit, but uh, I listen to Hannity too. And he said something extraordinary. He was talking to a caller, a liberal caller, uh, uh, on the issue of energy and energy independence and uh, developing renewable sources of energy, uh, moving away from fossil fuels, uh, developing solar power and so forth. And Hannity said something that I don't think he can even quite grasp the implications of. He said to this liberal young man who had called into his show, well, I'll tell you what, uh, you liberal geniuses, you liberal Thomas Edison's, you go off and develop the new technologies and the, 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 the solar panels and the wind power and the hydrogen fuel cells, you go off and develop all that stuff and when it's ready and when, it's, and when it works and when it's cost effective, we conservatives will come in and we will buy it and we will use it and everybody will be happy and we will all celebrate you. And in the meantime, let us continue to drill for oil and to dig for coal and to burn fossil fuels. And I heard that and I thought, damn, does he even realize what he just said? It, 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 is he actually admitting to his vast radio audience of, of millions and millions of people that it's progressive thinkers, it's liberals, it's people who embrace rationality and science and progress that are responsible for moving us forward, that are responsible for thinking us and manufacturing us and inventing us out of our current crises. Is he actually admitting that it's conservatives like him who are perfectly happy to keep digging in the ground for liquefied dinosaur bones to fuel our cars and produce our electricity while the liberals that he spends three hours a day on the radio plus one hour a night on television demonizing and doing his best to discredit and to mock and to marginalize are the ones who are responsible for building the future is is can that possibly be what he actually said you guys, the liberals, the democrats, the progressives, the free thinkers, you guys go ahead and invent the new fuel sources and the new technology that we are going to need in the future when inevitably oil either runs out entirely or at least becomes too cost prohibitive to be practical as our major fuel source. You guys do that. We conservatives aren't going to do that, despite the fact that Hannity and Limbaugh and Levin and Beck are constantly crowing about how it's really the conservatives who are the smart ones. It's really the conservatives who have the big brains. We're the ones who really, we're, we're the ones who are the grown-ups and we really understand how all this shit works. You liberals, you're just a bunch of naive, pie-in-the-sky hippies and children of hippies and grandchildren of hippies and you think that we can all just live on windmills and solar panels for the rest of our lives. It's us conservatives who are the really smart ones. Is he actually saying that the that that the the smart conservatives the one who the ones who are the true geniuses of our great country are going to sit back and let all us mindless stupid liberals invent the new technology and 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 develop the new fuel sources is Sean Hannity admitting to his audience to the world that conservative philosophy, that the instinct to preserve the status quo and to protect the interests of those who are already in power at the expense of those who are not in power and who are subject to that power has never moved a society forward? Is he actually admitting that it is progressive thought, liberal thought as we currently define it, that it is the pursuit of science and reason and progress that moves a society forward and makes a nation able to sustain itself and move itself into the future. 
Well, whether Hannity realizes it or not, uh, he is admitting that. I think he's probably too up his own ass to realize that that's what he's doing. The up your own ass position, not the best posture for self-reflection and analysis. But that is what he is saying. So, Sean and your conservative audience, I just want to say there are a lot of you, there are also a lot of us, uh, more liberal-minded folks, more scientifically driven folks, more progressive folks. I can't speak for all of them, but I can speak for myself. And I can tell you that we appreciate the vote of confidence. And you're welcome.